Razaban if IFL TV proudly sponsored by Everlast in Bournemouth. It's weighing day with me. Johnny, ne Johnny Nelson dressed for the beach today, mate. I'm beat. You, you want to see my Crocs, my G? These are badass Crocs. That's right. You have a look later on. Don't worry about it. Take a shot. These will be the, the rage before summer's done. That's right. Look at that. Look at that. Got a bag at the front for my weed. That bag's for my change on my on my my little little credit card. That's my weed. You see? <laughs> You've actually got pockets there to put money in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my daughters are my daughters have been mortified. Dad, you wore those on television. How are we keeping? I'm good, man. I'm good. This is wicked. It's like, oh, it's really nice, man. I right, said, so, why? Why wouldn't we do this more often? Uh, yes, of course, every beach needs a, a superstar to, to, to drag the crowds down here, but this is a no-brainer. We could do that with anybody, you know, get the, get the right headliner on, people come down and watch. John, it's been a while. I don't think we've done an interview for a little while, have we? Yeah, 24 hours ago, exactly. So what's happened? We're going through, are we, are we going to go through the same stuff we went through? Not 24 hours ago, 12 hours ago. I seen you last night ago? downstairs editing it. What did you do? It's up, it's up. All right, so what are we talking about? We're talking about other things, other things. Let's get to it. Eddie did an interview and he, he said regarding Tyson Fury's comments that I will fight anti Joshua for free. The tickets will be free. It will be on TV for free. Let's just talk about Tyson Fury, those comments. Is that just Tyson Fury being Tyson Fury or is he legitimately saying, let's do it for free for the fans? It's Tyson Fury being Tyson Fury. Remember the same Tyson Fury said he's done. He's not fighting again. So all of a sudden, all of a sudden he's fighting again. It's Tyson just being Tyson. Uh, he knows that's not going to happen. And he knows for a fact he'll look bad on on anybody that wants to get paid out of it. So he's saying, if you get paid, I'm getting paid out. That's Tyson being Tyson. You know, he's just one step ahead of everybody, that's all. You now, because what can you say about it? You know, you're gonna look the bad guy no matter what, unless you agree and say, all right, let's do it for nothing. Um, and again, remember this man said he's retired, he's, he's not fighting again. So it's just Tyson being Tyson, he's very good at it. Eddie says, no matter what happens August 20th with anti Joshua and Lucy, whether he wins or lose, the few fight is, will always be then, will always be the biggest fight in, in British boxing history and, and one of the biggest fights ever. I agree with him. I do agree with him. Uh, I think it's a great fight. Uh, it's an intriguing fight. I think it's, it's full out Wembley. Even if there's no belts on the line. Uh, so I, I've got to agree with him there because it's the anticipation of what will happen, what won't happen. You, you, it's just like, it's a great fight. That's it. <laughs> But I know before when they tried to make that fight, they said, look, 50-50 down the line. Anthony Joshua's gone on to have a, a, another loss after Ruiz with Usyk. If he has a third loss against Usyk, you know, we know the, tough it part, the toughest parts of negotiations are around the table. You know, would it still be a 50-50 fight if Joshua was to lose to Usyk? No, it won't be a 50-50 fight. It won't be a 50-50 fight, but um, in regards to, to draw, in, in regards to purses, it won't be that. But you know, only those two could still do something like that um, in regards to getting getting uh, in regards to getting getting the crowds in and of course you've got to go on performances and performances you've got to lean towards Tyson Fury being the being the winner of that fight because Tyson Fury has another lost Tyson Fury has proven his track record and it's not like you're still speaking out of turn about Anthony Joshua because you know what you just that factually Tyson Fury hasn't lost factually he's proved to everybody officially he's the best fighter in the world heavyweight fight in the world so at the end of the day you've just got to swallow that no matter what so uh, so 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 for him I just think well you know what I think it's a good fight I think you'd have to lean towards size and fury but that what that's what makes a fight intriguing and interesting because you could be wrong and you know Anthony Joshua might just see something in Tyson Fury that we don't what's the toughest fight for what's a tougher fight for Tyson Fury Usyk or Joshua Usyk. Usyk, Usyk, because Usyk, Usyk hasn't lost. Uh, Usyk is is is, is uh, deep in uh, experience, um, and if he wins Anthony, beats Anthony Joshua, he's um, again he's been in there with with one of the most successful heavyweights we've had in this country financially and career-wise, two-time heavyweight champion in the world. Um, and so uh, the, a tougher fight is against, uh, uh, yeah, definitely against. Uh, 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 Usyk. 
What do you want Chisora to do next? I know Eddie spoke about it again about you know people criticizing Eddie about whether Wilder is opponent for, for, for Chisora. But if Wilder fights anybody in the top 15, you know, Chisora's probably in the top 15. You know what? I like Derek and I'm his friend and he's not gonna like what I say. I'm, but I've seen fight. I've been retired a while now and I've seen fighters that box and retired and see what, how their life has gone after that. And, and, and Derek's made some dough. I know he's now a prize fighter. He wants to go where the dollars are. I don't want to see Derek in such a dangerous fight because if he loses, you know, he's taking a lot of shots, taking far too many shots. And, and he'll not feel the consequences of that for another 10 years. And in 10 years time, he'll know then think, was it worth it? Why did I do that? Uh, I understand he's, a, he's been a mercenary now, he's been a fly, prize fighter, I know why he's doing it. But I'm just saying, you know what Derek, walk away man, you've just won. You've got dough, I don't know how much dough you've got. Uh, but, and I know there's opportunities out there and it's very, very hard to do. But you'll realise, five, ten years down the line, the, the money isn't worth it. And, uh, and your health's more important. And, um, and it's not me speaking out of turn, I'm, I'm being honest as a spa, uh, as, a, as a friend. And, it's, and I'm quite sure a few people around him want to say that to him, but they don't. Uh, I'm saying it because I'm just saying how it is. And it's not, it's not going to go down too well, but that's my personal opinion. Seems like Dylan White has had a few offers from BT, from DAZN, from Sky. What do you want to see Dylan do next? And, and maybe a trilogy with Chisora? Maybe, maybe, again, uh, Daniel Dubois, that's what they're talking about. Um, uh, and again, you've got to look at Dylan White. Dylan White has not been as in tougher fights as Derek. Uh, so he probably has a bit more left than Derek. Dylan White, opportunity-wise, because he's in the who needs him club, waiting about and hanging about for his opportunity and, and missing his best days, has got to pick the best fights for him. So, so again, uh, if, if Derek is fine, and we match with Derek, that's so. Um, uh, uh, Dubois, that's so. You've got young, young books coming through that want to test themselves and get up there. So uh, Dylan's in a, he's in a fortunate position where he's boxed the world, for the World Heavyweight title. Uh, so he's a, he's, a, he's a benchmark for fights coming up. Uh, so he's a mark. He, uh, he's, he's hunted for that reason. Just so finally, who, who in, your, in your thoughts is potentially got the ability to become a marquee pay-per-view superstar outside the heavyweights and I'm talking about the young up-and-coming guns whether that's with Sky Zone, BT, Wasserman, wherever they are who do you think has those abilities and capabilities to become that next global star? Ben Whitaker and uh, yes conveniently <laughs> he's with Sky and Boxer but Ben Whitaker was was sought after by everybody and anybody before he signed with Boxer and Sky Ben Whitaker has that that, um, that, 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 that appeal where he's not just a good boxer, he's a whole package. He can talk, he's got attitude, he's got a chip on his shoulder. He has, he's like Marmite, not Marmite, Vegemite. You know, where you, where you like, like him or loathe him. He has that ability to make you talk about him. Um, he's a this, that and the other, or he's a brilliant fighter. If he can back up the balls and he actually all the whispers you're hearing about him in the gym and what he's doing, if he can back up the bolts, this guy is a full package because he, um, he, he can capture the imagination. It's no longer about just being a good fighter. You've got to be the whole package, you've got to be a salesman. Now there's loads of brilliant fighters out there, but they can't put, can't, can't put bums on seats. Ben Whitaker will be that fighter that can put bums on seats and he's got to understand what's doing it for him. He has that maddest touch. Okay, well, thank you, Johnny, for giving me a few minutes of your precious time while we're awaiting the, the start of the weigh-in. Um, how's your hips walking on the sand? Must be a bit tough. I'm trying not to swear again. I've swore, I'll not swear anymore. So this will be my last time. Fuck you. <laughs> Johnny Nelson, IFL TV. Thank you very much. Find your greatness with that.